Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl, and we got a big topic to be talking about that I've been meaning to talk about since the very start when we got the big news, because a lot of sort of false reporting has been circulated online as in regards to Supergirl's ending, so I wanted to go over it and clarify because it just really frustrated me and it frustrates a lot of you. So I'm going to explain everything, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos for its final season. Okay, so I need to talk about this. So the other day, about two days ago from now, a bit less, it was reported that Supergirl is set to end. So the announcement was kind of shocking, but at the same time we were kind of expecting at some point very soon considering the contracts were up at the end of the season, Melissa's just had a baby, obviously the pandemic and everything, and also just the fact that, you know, mainly the contracts were up and it was up to the show, so there was always an inevitability this next season that the show would come to an end because it's up to how they want to deal with it if they want to continue or not. Like that was a viable option the whole time, we all knew it was coming at some point. So they decided, Melissa and the CW and Warner Brothers and Belanti Productions, they came together, they talked about it evidently for a long time, for probably months, probably before, you know, all of this stuff happened, there was probably a discussion as soon as Melissa was pregnant that maybe this could be an option, like maybe we could do a long season and we could put the show to a rest but in a good way and sort of figure out the ending of the season because they need to write a great way to end the show. So yeah, it was reported just the other day that Melissa and the CW had decided to end Supergirl after season 6 and so then obviously and we've been seeing fake reports and sort of people speculating online for years about you know oh Supergirl is gonna end because of its ratings and because of this and because of that and mainly it came down to people's prejudice against the show because you know they didn't like that it was a female-led superhero show and some outlets out there were just you know speculating and kind of just waiting for Supergirl to get cancelled or something like that so you know anyway false reports inevitably have come out about its ending from the usual suspects and some other places but some mainly outlets and people that really either don't know much about Supergirl or they just haven't read into anything or they're the ones that are trying to get clicks because they're saying Supergirl cancelled or something like that so yeah false reports have been going around that Supergirl has been cancelled and so everyone always assumes it's a ratings problem and people are saying it's cancelled but these people are the people who aren't connected to what's going on and they don't even know and it's evidently clear they don't even know about Melissa's current circumstances I bet you they know nothing and the fact that she's literally got a contract that ends at the end of the season that is a big thing that people are glossing over and for us that know we knew it was probably gonna happen like at some point but anyway so they're evidently ignoring all of the facts and then they go to the idea oh what can we get some clicks with oh Supergirl has been cancelled and then in the articles that I've read these specific articles say it's a ratings problem when nothing has been said about the ratings and I'm going to talk about the ratings in a minute because I got a whole sort of list to go over like why it isn't a ratings problem, why it hasn't been cancelled. So basically with the contracts ending at the end of this season, they could have stopped the show if they wanted to at any point. They could have cancelled the show at any point but that never happened because there was never any worry and the CW wants Supergirl and so Melissa could stop the show at the end of the season if she wants to. They won't continue Supergirl without Melissa and that's a fact, however it's Melissa's choice because she is the lead and her contract was set to end at the end of this season, she could have renegotiated it or she could have ended it. And so also the CW wouldn't give a 20 episode final season run to a show they don't want. That makes no sense at all and so with that they clearly want as long as the last season as possible to reap the awards of Supergirl and to reap the benefits of her final season and you know 
Not even The Flash currently is set to have 20 episodes. So Supergo announced in the report the other day that was ending that they're going to finish this final season with 20 episodes. And, you know, The Flash is like the biggest show on the network. It gets them the most money and it's very, very good on the ratings and everything like that. So people don't ever talk about The Flash's ratings because it is the top of the CW and that's a fact. But Supergo is really, really close behind and yeah, you know, it doesn't get as many viewers, but the fact that Supergo is going to be ending with its final season and it's going to be 20 episodes long and The Flash isn't even going to be 20 episodes long as far as we know right now, that shows that they want a proper season, they want Supergo, they don't want to just throw it away and end it. And so let's move on to the ratings. So it's not a ratings problem. The CW are more than happy with Supergo's performance, we've heard that in reports over and over again. The CW president has talked about it before, and it's just the fact that when any show ends, they always blame ratings, and that's what lots of outlets do, because they want to find a way to sort of excuse, and they don't want it to be like, you know, oh, Arrow is ending because they agreed that they would end it because the contracts are up. No, you know, people ignore that stuff because they don't want that. That doesn't make the news story. And so whilst it doesn't have huge viewer numbers like The Flash, Neither does any other CW show. All the other CW shows, barring The Flash and maybe Riverdale, all of them have relatively low numbers compared to other networks, but that's because the CW is a smaller network and it's not like CBS and it's not like NBC or ABC or anything like that. It's just a fact. It won't do numbers like 12 million or something. Like The Flash is the highest on the network and that does about like one point. 2 to 1.5 million per episode or something like that so you know it's the CW it's not CBS or anything like that so however it makes them so much money in advertisements that being Supergo and ratings only account for live viewers who watch it on the specific time that one time in the day and the CW has its app and its playback where it gets well over a million views per episode so it's no problem they make their money on the show and specifically for Supergo it was reported I don't know like a year ago or something that it's actually done the best for the CW in terms of advertisements it makes them a hell of a lot of money and it's really successful when you look at it and it doesn't have bad ratings yes it has lower from when it started but it started on CBS which is a completely different network yes it's owned by Warner Brothers the same but it's just a different dynamic CBS and the CW are completely different but I think a big factor is the CW app because so many people just wait and they will watch on the CW app also the fact that ratings on you know American TV shows they only account for American viewers Supergirl has got a big big international audience that has to wait to watch it and they'd make their money on all of that because it all goes back to the CW, Warner Brothers and Belanti Productions, they all reap the awards of Supergo. Obviously, they do very good on merchandise, Blu-rays and DVDs when they come out, they make a lot. And then also when they sell it and they air Supergo on other networks in like Europe, other places, they play on Sky and, you know, people watch it in other ways. This is just the live viewer ratings for one hour of the week, literally, that's all. And, you know, the CW doesn't have a problem with that. So a full 20 episode run for season 6 is what we're getting and that is huge because if they cancelled the show they would cancel it and they would end it right now. They would not say oh we're going to have just 20 more episodes. That's a hell of a lot of money they have to put into production and it's a long time. They're going to be filming for like 8 months or something so they're not going to do that if they want to cancel the show right now. They want to end the show because they've decided you know the contracts are up. Melissa seemingly at a new point in her life and ready to move on and you know they're going to have that final season which is going to be 20 episodes. The CW are going to be happy because they get 20 more episodes they get to air. They'll make a lot of money from Supergirl's final season and so if they wanted to cancel it they would cancel it right now and they would not let there be anywhere near 20 episodes for a final season if they wanted to cancel the show. It makes no sense at all and when you look at it that way you know that it's not a ratings problem you know that they don't want to cancel it they are ending it because of an agreement that melissa and the cw have made all right so 
that's the end of this video that was a bit ranty but i kind of wanted to talk about the different points because it really annoys me i know it annoys a lot of you guys about the people online who kind of just presume one thing they kind of don't know and they don't do the research and they you know want a few clicks here and there from people who are like interested in oh supergirl cancelled look at this controversy or something like that so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys later stick around for more supergirl videos for its final season turn on notifications to not miss any so i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.